Just when you think Miss Trishy Fishy Trisha Paytas can't reach anymore, you know what she fucking does? She stands on a little ladder, on the sofa even, and reaches some more. You know why? Because this new thing with Trisha Paytas is absolutely fucking ridiculous, and I swear to God, she's been coming out with all these, like, attacking James Charles for his racist past, Charlie D'Amelio, Dixie D'Amelio, their parents, and all this. Now, she's coming after another person for being racist... Uh, for not saying the M-word? Like, she's coming after Addison Ray, literally, for not saying the M-word. Y'all heard me right! Trisha Paytas is coming after one of the biggest TikTok creators for not saying the M-word. Now, keep in mind, Trisha Paytas was also coming after one of the biggest creators on TikTok, Dixie D'Amelio, for saying the M-word. So, I think Trisha just wants to come for people on both spectrums of saying it and not saying it. Y'all are hearing me right, by the way. Like, Trisha is literally... <laughs> I'm gonna show you it, and you're gonna be like, what the fuck? But because Trisha is now getting this surge of popularity on TikTok, and it's not even with people genuinely loving her, it's just the fact that she's so problematic, and she can do it quickly, and all like that, and, you know, the TikTok drama it comes and goes, so she's very good with that, because she's good with drama. And so she's seeing all these numbers or whatever, and I think she's genuinely just trying to do and call out everyone, because she says herself the only thing that keeps her relevant is drama, and again, I can agree with you, I'm a drama channel, but, like, Trisha, you're literally coming after people now for not promoting saying the M-word, but you were coming after someone else for promoting it, and so, Trisha, I want to ask you, it now it just seems like you're not even doing this because you care about the meaning of the M-word and why white creators can't say it or white people in general. And it just seems like you're trying to jump on any sort of fucking trend to bring up a controversy with the M-word that you can talk about. Is anyone else getting them vibes? That it seems like Trisha Paytas doesn't care about the subject at hand at all and is just waiting to call anyone out in regards to if they say it or don't or promote it or don't. And that's where the issue is, Trisha, and I don't understand why I know that you want to be involved in every single piece of drama, but whenever you do two things that conflict each other, it really shows that you don't care about the subject and you're just doing it to get views and attention. Which is something you do a lot, but whenever you're preaching how, you know, you've grown and you care about, you know, not being racist and not promoting that and stuff, now you go and do this and it just kind of deflects away from all of what you said because it's really just proving that you're just waiting to call out anyone. And again, I'm not even a fan of the creator you're calling out, but it just shows that you're so hypocritical and don't even care about what you're calling out anymore. Right, okay. So this is the creator in which Trisha is calling out. Addison Ray. Y'all know Addison Ray. If you don't, TikToker, doesn't matter. We don't need to go into it anymore because I believe that these TikTokers are beyond boring. They just do a little one, two, three, four dance and y'all give them millions of views. Okay, okay. That's straight TikTok for you. Am I on straight TikTok? No. Do I want to be on straight TikTok? Absolutely fucking not. So here we have this clip of TikToker doing this whenever the M-word comes up, right? Right? So, covering up when the M-word comes up. I think it's a dumb dance move because you're just highlight. You know what I mean? But Trisha Paytas has more to say about it. That she believes Addison Ray and TikTokers who do this are silencing black people. Okay, let's, now that you know that, let's just get into this, right? Okay. Okay. How is this okay? Addison and so many other TikTok dancers are doing this dance move for the N-word. One, why is there a dance word for the N-word? Why is it silencing for the N-word? When, why are we dancing to it, period, when it's not edited out? Why are we normalizing non-black people saying the N-word? This is why we have ignorance in 2020. This has 50 million likes, and these non-black girls are dancing, doing the silencing motion. Why are we silencing? Why is that the dance move? Why are we saying, shh? Like, like, what? why are you saying it at all? Why is it even in TikToks, like, dance language? Why is the biggest TikTok knock, TikToker not getting canceled for this? Why are people praising this? Like, this is scary, this is sad, this is twisted, and it's dark. And it's racist. It's downright racist. Like, what is happening? Am I the only one? Yeah, you are. So Trisha Paytas is basically saying that if you don't say the M-word as a white person, you're racist. Huh. 
If you promote not saying the M word to your followers, if you're white, you're racist too. And Trisha believes that, why aren't you being cancelled? Now keep in mind, this is the same woman, grown ass woman, who says that no one deserves to be cancelled. But then it'll be like, Charlie deserves to be cancelled, James Charles deserves to be cancelled, Dixie deserves to be cancelled, but then we'll later be like, no one deserves to be cancelled. I'm not saying that. But at every single chance, we'll say that she believes X creator should be cancelled. And normally, whenever Trisha does stuff, I'm like, okay, I understand why people are giving it attention because it's drama and it's interesting, whatever. This one, I'm like, Trisha, like, I don't even believe you believe what you're saying here. And it's dumb. And what you're trying to imply is that she's silencing black people. She's silencing the use of the M word for everyone, like the black community. Like, y'all, this white ass woman, Trisha Paytas, she may believe she's black, but this white ass woman, Trisha Paytas, is now telling people in the black community I'm leaving the silence so that you can just like process it. Right? She's literally saying that white people not saying the M word is them being so racist. And also that black creators stuff cannot be consumed by white people if it has the M word in it. So Trisha, by that logic, aren't you trying to silence black people because you don't want their work to be seen by white people because you think that they shouldn't listen or promote their work because it has the M word in it and if they do, they're racist? Y'all, please, for the love of God, are you understanding what this woman is saying? Jesus. Okay, let's listen one more time, right? This, this woman is literally, I can't, like, okay. So, here we go. How is this okay? Addison and so many other TikTok dancers are doing this dance move for the N-word. One, why is there a dance word for the N-word? Why is it silencing? It's not silencing. For the N-word. When why are we dancing to it, period, when it's not edited out? Why are we normalizing non-black people saying the N-word? This is why we have ignorance in 2020. This has 50 million likes. She said, why are we normalizing, like, basically white people saying the N-word? But this video is her not saying it. Like, I agree that this dance move and this fucking move, whatever, because it's literally not a dance move, it's literally just, I believe that's dumb as fuck. If you're dancing to a song as a white creator that has the N word in it, you don't have to have a dance move for it. You don't have to say it. You don't have to, you know, do all this. You can just like go on with your dance because your dances are never that intricate anyway. But Trisha saying that this creator is straight up racist for not saying it. Sorry, one final time. I just need to. Oh my god, this is so fucking. Trisha, you are. How is this okay? Addison and so many other TikTok dancers are doing this dance move for the N word. One, why is there a dance word for the N word? Why is it silencing? Not silencing. For the N word. When why are we dancing to it, period, when it's not edited out? Why are we normalizing non black people saying the N word? This is why we have ignorance in 2020. This has been literally didn't say it. And these non black girls are dancing, doing the silencing motion. Why are we silencing? Why is that the dance move? Why are we saying shh? Like, like, what? Why are you saying it at all? Why is didn't it even say in it. TikTok's like dance language? Why is the biggest TikTok knock, TikTok are not getting canceled for this? Why are people praising this? Like, this is scary. This is sad. This is twisted and it's dark. And it's racist. It's downright racist. Like, what is happening? Am I the only one? Trisha, I don't even, again, think you believe what you're saying here. Literally so fucking stupid. Here's some of the comments under Trisha's TikTok. Girl, you're trying too hard now. Literally not even racist. Trisha, you're trying too hard. Girl, we can't cancel someone for not saying the M word. It is not a dance move, Trisha. 
So now we're cancelling people for not saying the M word. I'm out. Trisha, why are you so up and down? She's trying so hard to be favoured. Give it up, Trisha. Like, these are the TikTokers who are so up Trisha's ass that are now calling her out. Oh, Trisha, you were so close. Not y'all cancelling someone for not saying the M word. Girl, you didn't word this right. Girl, you were doing so well before this. Trisha, go be sensitive somewhere else. Trisha, it's not that deep. She didn't say it. That's good enough. Oh, Trisha, you really thought you did something. Girl, you thinking too much. Trisha, it's to show she isn't saying it, dumbass. Trisha, I'm starting to not like you again. Not you trying to cancel Addison because she didn't say the M word. And it's like, yeah, Trisha, this literally comes across as you angry that Addison Ray didn't say the M word so that you couldn't attack her for being racist. But you know what? Trisha, you are attacking her for being racist again because you literally said, you know what? This is racist. Oh my god, like every single day. Brain cells. Lost. Every single fucking day. Y'all! Not this! Trisha, not this! Jesus Christ, I know that you have your clout on TikTok now and they eat up everything you say, but based on the responses, even they don't eat this up because you're trying to cancel someone for not saying the M word whenever all you do is cancel people for saying the M word, which you know what? You should, they shouldn't be saying it. But now that someone's not saying it and not promoting it to their followers, which she spent ages attacking Dixie for promoting it to her followers, which you were right for, I agree with you for that. White creators should not be saying the N word. It's as fucking simple as that. It shouldn't be all this technical shit. Jesus Christ, Trisha. But now you're attacking someone for not saying it and not promoting it. And you're really angry because they're not not saying the M word? No, they're not saying it. And you think they're racist for silencing the black community. And you also think that they shouldn't be allowed to enjoy anything from black creators if they choose to say the M-word in it. Trisha, this is so, so, so dumb. And again, I believe that you don't believe this. So again, for one final time, let's go through it. So here was the video as well. So before, here was the video. There you go. You can see that she did that little move, whatever. And this is what Trisha had to say. One last time. Addison and so many other TikTok dancers are doing this dance move for the N-word. One, why is there a dance word for the N-word? Why is it silencing for the N-word? When Why are we dancing to it, period, when it's not edited out? Why are we normalizing non-black people saying the N-word? Didn't this say is it. why we have ignorance in 2020. This Where, what's the ignorance? Life. She didn't and say it. non-black girls are dancing, doing the silencing motion. Why are we silencing? Why is that the dance move? Why are we saying shh? Like, like... What? Why are you saying it at all? Why is it even in TikToks like dance language? Why is the biggest TikTok knock TikToker not getting canceled for this? Why are people praising this? Like this is scary. This is sad. This is twisted and it's dark, and it's racist. It's downright racist. Like what is happening? Am I the only one? Now keep in mind, I'm not defending these creators when they do this like move, right? But the reason that started, if you don't know, was because people were watching their favorite white creators dance to a song that had the M word in it, and they were watching their mouth in case, you know, they did say or mouth the word, right? And so the reason that this started happening was because people were making it known, like the creators, that they don't stand by saying it because they are white. So they were literally going out of their way to do that to show that their mouth was shut and they weren't saying anything. And so Trisha was calling creators out back then for, oh my God, almost looking like they're saying it or whatever, whenever they were probably just like, you know, breathing because they're dancing. And so they're going out of their way to do that now because of people like Trisha who were, you know, insinuating that they were saying it when they weren't. And now that's not good enough for Miss Trisha though. She's coming after them again for not saying it and making it clear that they're not saying it and not promoting it to their followers. And again, extremely hypocritical, no matter how long ago it was, that a woman who was singing it in her channel and stuff, the N-word, is now coming after all these people. Girl, it's not a good look. And again, it's so 
stupid that whenever I'm watching a video of you, normally I'm like, okay, whatever point she's trying to make. Here, there's nothing substantial that you're trying to say, and I don't, that's why it's not believable that you believe what you're saying. You're trying to do it because you want another hit video. You're coming after and reacting to one of the biggest creators, and you're hoping for a little bit more clout. I get it, Trisha. You've said that that's what you do on TikTok, but whenever you're doing this, it completely contradicts everything you've said in the past, and I don't understand why you try to do that because you discredit yourself so much in that process. Like, Maybe that's what you want to do. Discredit yourself so people are confused. Well done, Trisha. You're doing it. But at the same time, you're reaching for what? <sighs> Again, I'm not even a fan of this Addison Ray girl. Not a fan of Trisha. And it's just like, damn, fucking hell. Guys, let me know what your opinion is on this. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.